we can operate a cell phone tower and see everything that your phone would send to a cell phone tower. Phone calls, text messages, picture messages, mobile web surfing. Uh, we can see and record it all. We spent the afternoon with a couple of hackers. Here's what we learned. Not everything you do on your cell phone is private. I've got a phone right here. I can text your phone, and you're going to be able to use this to intercept and see exactly what I'm texting. We see the text message after it leaves your phone, before it reaches the carrier, before it reaches the recipient's phone. I'm going to text him now, so I'm sending it. But before my friend even gets the text, these guys are reading it on their computer. And you can see right here, looks like an outgoing SMS from this identifier sent a text message to this phone number with the message, hey, what is up? What else do you got? <laughs> uh, well, how about a voice call? Let's call. Hi, Andrew. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Now I'll play it back for you. Hi, Andrew. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Lauren? I'm good. I'm good. You can also see pictures if I text someone a picture, right? Yeah, let's do a picture message. All right. So your phone used your data connection to send a picture message. We intercepted the data connection, logged it, and grabbed the picture out of it, showed it on the screen. How do they do it? So this is a small cell phone tower that's sold or provided by carriers to extend coverage into places where you have weak signal. They're called femtocells, and these security consultants say they're easy to hack. You do need some level of technical skills, but People are learning those skills in college. This is breaking into one of these devices or a device like this is within the realm of smart people working at home. They cost a few hundred bucks. Researchers say there could be 50 million femtocells around the world by 2014. There's 30 carriers worldwide that have femtocells, and so if they are, are vulnerable to, the, to similar uh, issues, then potentially a whole lot of people can be uh, Affected. So who are these guys? We are uh, security consultants and what that means is companies hire us um, on a temporary basis to um, um, look at their web applications, their networks, and assess them for security. So we basically act like bad guys. We act like bad hackers and attempt to find security holes so that we can tell them about them so they can fix them. We asked Verizon, whose service these guys tested, what they had to say. Verizon Wireless takes device security seriously. The demonstration CNN saw was for an identified issue that was fixed earlier this year on all network extender devices. The fix prevents the network extender from being compromised in the same manner. There were no reports of any customer impact. The Verizon Wireless Network Extender remains a very secure and effective solution for our customers. To protect yourself, keep all your software up to date. You can also download apps like Wicker, CellCrypt, and Silent Circle that offer more security. But these guys are less than optimistic. Number one, you should assume that everything you're saying is being intercepted. Um, that is a bit of a defeatist uh, <laughs> opinion, but that sometimes that, that has to be the way it is. Lori Siegel, CNN Money, New York.